men. I like to hit men. And sometimes I hit on men. Men. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, everybody? I'm Zoinkmeister Adam, joined by Zoinkmeister Patrick. He's red, he's white, he's a hitman. And we're playing Hitman 3 for the PlayStation 5. We use a strong word, he's playing. Uh, so I have written down here on my phone to say at some point, and so I'm just going to say it. Um, right now? Yeah, why not? Before it's recorded, am I going to post this in like, you know what, yeah, it's fine, go ahead. I, I thought we were just like getting going. I was just kind of giving you time to like get the level started. You want to get the level started? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I could do this like a like a quick before hot take. Like, what do you? Sure. Yeah, you could just put this in and then do the bling and then start the episode. How yeah. About that? Yeah. We're out here playing a game of ketchup. And I'm the mustard. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have more, but I'm gonna save the other ones. I think. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll just bleep here and then. Here we go. Oh. We're out here playing a game of ketchup. Ketchup. And I'm the mustard. It's just, I don't know <laughs> when you would say it. Like, you clear, like, you track down your villain <laughs> and you're like about to kill him. We're out here <laughs> playing a game of ketchup. And I'm the mustard. <laughs> okay, future <laughs> Adam. Can not tell if that's a good thing or not? <laughs> like, is that, are you better at it or worse? Is like, it the hero? No one yeah, knows. Is it the villain says that? Like, Oh, wow. Why does he have two guns? Isn't this Hitman 3? Shouldn't he have three guns for he Hitman? He it in his mouth. Oh, good. Rendezvous with Deanna Burnwood in Mendoza you imagine if and Mendoza and her allegiance. Zorro parody with three guns, like one of them's in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice babbling brook. If you're into that sort of thing. Well, that was easy. We're past security. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> All we had to do was drive. Wasn't that is Simpsons movie at some point? No, I might be thinking of something else. It's somewhere in The Simpsons where he's like, just turns on the computer and then he says, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Because it's Homer. I'm in. I don't know. I can't do a Homer impression. I don't really watch The Simpsons. I'm in. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm not a Simpsons guy either. So if you were to shoot both of these guards, do you think they'd notice that you're evil? Are I mean, we the baddies? I think we're the baddies. <laughs> okay. Once again, per usual. How does no one notice he has a I have no like, idea tattooed to the back of his head? How to do anything. Oh. I don't know how to run. I don't know how to look. Oh, okay. You figured out the look button. It's L2. Every game, you should never press R2 first. Yeah, that's... That's, that's true. Oh, man, you're not already, Patrick? No. <laughs> You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless, Not unless it's a candy camera. So what's the play? You're not the only one who Drinking water today, guys. I'm, yeah, I also have water. This close to becoming the next constant. Oh, wow. You'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel. That weasel. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the plane. It's not a wine glass. Sorry if my voice sounds a little uh if Edward suspects a little coarse. I will convince him you acted I got some wicked phlegm in the back. Gray. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. It looks like she's wearing her necklace backwards. Doesn't it? I know she's not, but <laughs> it just has a long chain, huh? Yeah. Oh another dove. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? Sure oh, she also has one. Oh. Oh. You know what would help? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't do it. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Just give me a little honk. <laughs> <laughs> Ta Okay, you got to explain. You got to explain. Like, they're not going to know. They're um, not going to know. I don't even know how to explain it. So we were playing Final Fantasy VII Remake before this. By we, I mean Adam. For and fun. I was, it's not apparent on the channel at this time. No, no, no. I was just checking it out. Uh, Adam was showing it off to me. It's a really good game. I really like it. And um, <laughs> Dangerous Cliff Path. You got to take that. I will. I'm just trying to find out how to run. Uh, Sticks? I, I'm trying. R3 is stealth. Okay, L3? L3 seems to be nothing. Oh, I'm trespassing. I thought it was going to be X. The, I thought L1, R1? L1. L1, yeah. Um, and R1 so, is, okay. <laughs> um, so while we're, we're in the, the, I don't know if it's a spoiler, train graveyard area, 
and we got attacked by ghosts. Um, hold up, let's let's go through this. Guy. No, no, you're good. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we get attacked by ghosts. <laughs> and I don't remember how it comes up, but somehow, oh, I thought he saw you for a second. No, no. Uh, and somehow, um, it, it's like, <laughs> like <laughs> quit Tifa. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know Tifa. Could you like put up on screen a picture yeah. of Tifa from here? She is. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII uh, remake. Uh, so, <laughs> so as, we're making jokes. as like as like, uh, quick Tifa, they're here because they want one thing. <laughs> Just give them a couple honks. <laughs> uh, and oh. <laughs> I don't remember why that came up. I don't yeah. know if I just said it or what. Hey, this is Zoinkmeister coming at you from the post. Basically, I described this really horribly in the episode. So while I'm here editing this, I figured I might as well give the actual explanation for what happened. Uh, so basically, at some point in Final Fantasy VII Remake, there is a boss fight with this boss called the Ghoul Boss or something like that. If you're interested in looking it up, it's just look up Ghoul Boss Fight Final Fantasy VII Remake. You'll find it. Point is, it's Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith all together. They're in this room. And then suddenly Aerith starts to sense some sort of presence and then she calls over Tifa. She's like, Tifa, and then she gets in front of Tifa to like kind of protect her, which is weird because they're both fighters. And Tifa's like an up close like puncher fighter and Aerith is not. So strange that she's trying to like protect her with her body. Uh, and then as the ghoul's right about to appear, uh, it can't talk. And so Aerith translates what it's saying. So Aerith says, coming to get you, which is what the, the boss said. And so I just made the assumption that coming to get you was directed at Tifa since Aerith just tried to protect Tifa in a weird situation. So the joke I was making was basically that the boss was just <laughs> was trying to get Tifa because of uh, her notable physical attributes. And so the entire boss fight is just everybody protecting Tifa from unsolicited honks. And so the entire time Cloud is just like, come on, Tifa, just give him some honks. We wouldn't have to do this whole boss fight if you just give him a honk. So. Um, they are they're adamantly protecting her honor as you know, it is her right to choose whether or not to give honks, but um, Cloud is just pointing out how much easier the boss fight would be if she would just uh, just just give him some honks. So that's what we're talking about here. Figured I'd just sit this in here as my actual explanation in the video is horrendous. Back to the past. But oh, then, wow. I, I, I messed that up bad. Wait, it says I'm in comp. Oh, this guy's still alive. Ouch. <laughs> We just kept making jokes about, uh, oh, geez. Uh, he made me do it. You saw. I, I guess. He made me do this, too. <laughs> They're not going to notice that you're okay, like. I'm going to be honest. White. What he made me do right now. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> he didn't make me do this. <laughs> this one's for me. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. We were like in the middle of a bunch of. Oh, spoiler, spoiler. And then. Uh, yeah, he was like, oh, Tifa, <laughs> just give him a couple honks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was there a reason I said that? I can't remember. Because I thought Aerith said something like, um, I forgot, I thought Aerith said something. And, and then that's what I was like, <laughs> quick Tifa, they just want a couple honks. <laughs> yeah. Give him some honks so we can get out of here, Tifa. That's the only way they'll leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're just looking for a couple honks. Just a couple honks. <laughs> I just want to let you know that we do not condone Hawks, sexual no, harassment yes, of any sort. Any way. No. Um, That's why, I mean, she has to consent. Don't continue to call it honks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it has to be consensual. It has to be consensual honks. Honks. Did you pick up a shotgun? Uh, no, They're although I could pick it up. They're all carrying shotguns. They are all carrying shotguns. Like, it makes you look like the weird white guy without the shotgun. Yeah, in a field of, like, mostly, what are these? I think of? it's Italian? Where are I we? have no idea where we are. I mean, I, 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 honestly, it's the um, grapevines. I might be racist. Mendoza. Right, where is where is up. Mendoza? It sounds like it could be. It sounds like it could be Italian. Maybe Spanish. It could be Spanish. You're wearing a little beret, so. Yeah. Maybe you're in Italy. Or you're in France. Argentina. All right. Wait. Yeah, Argentina. Argentina. Wow, yeah. we were way off. Way off. Oh, shears. Don't mind if I do. Ha! Huh, shear these. Okay, grapes. I'm gonna have to use my. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have like the best vision ever. Oh, you can shear the grapes. Shear some grapes. I have to go to a dedicated shear. Yeah, you have to turn on your vision to see the shearable grapes. The shearable grapes, oh, that's not, that's a human. <laughs> he, he's shearable. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, no, yeah. it is grapes. Yeah. Yeah, pick the oh, grapes. Oh, I can pick them up. Oh, but it says I can't. Is it because I have something in my hand? Like Missing no. grape knife? Oh, you need a grape knife. Okay, that's That's stupid. real specific. But that is real specific. Um, Quick, give me your grape knife. I want some grapes. Is that, what's that on the floor? Is that a grape knife? 
What is that? Um, that is... A faucet? Yeah, turn it on. See what happens. What's the worst that can happen? They get watered. Okay. Not sure what the point of that is. Oh, it's not even like... It's, it's like this tiny spout. Yeah. Why? Now it's just wet here. The guy like slips and falls and dies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? What's going on there? All Interesting. Right. Okay. Um, well, the faucet's on now, for what it's worth. Oh, that guy's a prime person. One of you has to have a grape knife. What can I do for you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that guy's not Argentinian. I didn't know we had investors come in. A private tour. What do you think the giant belt's for? With all the respect, Just looks. Uh, it has to be, right? Yeah. It's got like buckles or like little bucklers on it or something. Yeah. It's like, so you, like those little finger symbols, so you know he's coming, like they're loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh no. So this guy's not a target. He's just a point of interest. He's a point of interest. So if we follow him, we can do like some nonsense. Okay. Oh yeah, he's the tour. Oh, of the grapevine. Like what? Okay. Interesting. Well, this one's right here, so let's follow it. Okay. Hopefully, we can follow multiples. Disguise yourself as the chief winemaker. Oh. Investigate the distraction. That faucet. Oh, I see. Well, that took a long time. Yeah. Follow mission story guide. Yes. Diana, Vidal, and this. Yes, I already read it. I don't know if this is gonna help us. Um. Well, if we dress up as him, then because we're we're trying to kill Yates, the girl. Right. And we're trying to kill the. Uh, sorry, no. Yates is the guy. Don Yates is the guy. And yeah. V Vidal was her name. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Tamara Vidal. Okay. Is our other one. So these are our two targets. Right. And he gives a tour to Vidal and Burnwood. I see. Oh, oh no. So I disguise myself as him and then I can get close to her. But where do we get those grape knives? That is a good question. I feel like the real goal of this is to find some grape knives. Hi there, fine sir. Do you have a grape knife? No. Okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Try checking that central area. There's got to be a grape knife around here somewhere. I turn on that faucet. <laughs> I gotta turn on that faucet. <laughs> I'm determined to find a grape knife. Me too, but I want to take his outfit before I can't because of some weird story-based thing. God, there's people everywhere. It's just barrels. Just all kinds of barrels. Oh, man, he is... Oh, what's that on the floor? Is that a brick? What is that? It is a yeah, brick. a brick, okay. So I now can do the coconut maneuver. Right. There's, he's now with three people, but to be fair, there's people everywhere here. Like, I don't know there how you're going There is people everywhere. What is that? Another faucet? Oh. Well. Yeah, another faucet. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, you turned it off. Oh. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> keep that on. We're slowly gonna whittle down their water supply. <laughs> <laughs> Very Eventually, slowly. they'll uh, become dehydrated. Yeah. They'll notice. And die of dehydration. Oh. oh, shoot! She checked it out. Where is she? Uh, uh, She's in the fields. She's right over there. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... Dang it, this is going to be too close to do the coke. There's people everywhere. There are people everywhere. Okay, I'm going to abandon the storyline for now. Yeah. Let's um. Let's do this one. Okay. I believe, if I remember, yeah, the right here. Grape knife. Where's grape that knife. grape knife? I think it's in the central area, is my guess. It's like in that big shack. Might be. Go check it out. Those faucets are really like a very delayed, like accessibility thing. Hey, bud. It's me. Hey, we're looking for grape knives. You know where I can find one of those bad oh, boys? I found one of these bad boys. Yeah. Now you look like one of them. Nah, look at us. We look so similar, yes? Yes, very you similar. You and me. Grape so knife? Oh, no, rake. Oh, no, rake. Forklift. Forklift. Soda can. What's that? All? There's a thing over there. Uh, I think it's a wrench. Still, a wrench is useful. It's not a grape knife. It is. Though. I'll take it. Yeah. But... Don't look like a grape knife. What if you had a grape knife this whole time? <laughs> it's just in your back pocket. Where? It just, no, you have me curious. No, I don't. No, I just, just have the shears. shears and the... Why isn't there a grape knife? The fact that it like is required. Is Makes me, me. It's got to be something. Maybe you have to take down one of the like guys who are working the field and they have a grape knife on them. Maybe. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh yeah, go over there. What's he doing? Does he have a grape knife? No. No. Just on a break. Smoke break. Ooh, there's a thing. Oh. Yeah, let's see where that goes. We will find that grape knife. And we'll get our grapes. I don't think this is the grape knife location. You never know. This is one of those. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go on. I. Hello? 
<laughs> Why can't my buttons aren't working to switch weapons? There we go. That was super weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hacking the vent. It's a good thing I have hackable vents, you know? Like, most people just have normal vents. <laughs> yeah. Which probably would work better than the hackable ones. <laughs> oh. An icicle. I'm just curious. Like, does this stay with me the whole, like... No, I'm sure is it's it time sensitive. Melting, yeah. <laughs> what if he just gets a wet spot and... Oh! Screwdriver. What if he just gets a wet spot, slowly starts appearing on the, like, back of his pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ah, hobby knife, come on! <laughs> Can this be used as a grape knife? Oh, so, man, I could shoot her right now. You gotta hit her with the icicle. I have to do the story. Do you have to do the story? I mean, it's what the people want, right? Is it what the people want? I think so. Oh no. We didn't do the story for the uh, mansion one, and that was more fun, I'd argue. <laughs> well, that's because that one was going to be like, <laughs> like really long. Is this one a shorter story? Because um, we tried doing the story in the last location, and it took so long. It took so long. <laughs> and I don't know if it was 100% worth that, it. That place was huge. Yeah, that was a big place. All right, Patrick. Come I on. I mean, come on. Right? Right. He didn't do anything to you. You're an evil human being. Oh, wow. I got a There's objective. blood in the grape supply. Yeah. <laughs> What's my special recipe to make sure <laughs> the grapes are so good? What is this? Resident Evil uh, 8? 8? Yep. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, so what are we doing with this? If I push him, it pacifies him, but it doesn't kill. Would, do we need to kill him? Um, I think I need his outfit. So we're going to pull a coconut. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. Oh, Magiano. Oh, man. Oh, my God, I have a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. not going to work. Uh, Quick, dump it. You're just uh, going to leave him there? Uh, What am I supposed to do? Throw him over the balcony. Is no one around? No. There's a guy over there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see? Your idea was terrible. I'm compromised. Who saw me? I have legitimately no idea. Have we saved? I don't think so. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, wow, these saves are really all. Oh, yeah, we don't have any saves. You have um, to just restart the mission. I wish there was just like a restart last checkpoint, but apparently it There's wasn't no even a checkpoint. Grape knife! <laughs> well, future Adam, time to flash forward. Uh, so we could have just gone in. Yes. Okay. Instead, we chose to do a bunch of stupid <laughs> you stuff. You told me to go do it. <laughs> okay, so hope is like this potato. In moderation, it can be... Rather tasty, but have too much of it and it can make you fat. Uh, okay. I don't know. That's just, that's what I have. You should go back in the way it came, man. What do you think you are? You be the big man. You got the big butt on the head. Uh, you're making your Italian. Where did we know. really were? Argentina? Argentina, yeah. This is crazy. How come all of the Ooh, security, look at that car. all the hired guns are like Italian? I don't know. That's a cool car. Yes, sir. All of these are really cool. Sorry it took so long, but I, I mean, some of that, that's like a sedan or whatever. But... Everything and I, I couldn't get my <laughs> Dress him as that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Where's this grape nut? Uh, grape uh, knife. Have you ever had grape nuts? I have not had a grape nut. It's what a, a cereal grape nut. Interesting. Grape nuts. Have I told you my joke about signing up for a horticulture class in college and finding out that it was actually a class on how sex and prostitution were viewed in different time periods? No, I didn't even know that was a thing. That was uh, like heavily studied. Well, then I didn't really sell that joke there, did I? No. <laughs> <laughs> Horny culture. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Horny uh -huh. cult Horny culture is a plant, study of plants. Uh-huh. For anyone not aware. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So one of the other sub stories that we didn't do. That's all my joke. Right? We need an outfit for. Luckily, I know two chaps right here <laughs> that are willing and able to give me their outfits. Oh, I'll show you my chaps. Are we even going to play the first part? That we did earlier? Or are we just gonna start from here? Do we do anything? Just your ketchup joke. Oh uh, no, we no ketchup joke was before. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can just skip ahead. Yeah, true. We could just start from here. Oh no, we also had the um, <laughs> the, the the honks. <laughs> but I think we, we can, can cut that out. We can I think retell. we're good. We can retell that. No, I don't think we need to. I, I think, think we can we just cut to. out the the honks. I like the honks. Give me your honks. I wish I could just remember like the actual context of what it happened. I mean, I remember the ghost appeared, and I was like, "He wants your honks. <laughs> give me your honks. Just give him a couple honks. <laughs> he'll leave us alone." I, it's interesting you choose the pink one every time. Do you not like pink? No, I just I think it's interesting. I like pink. Oh, I don't. 
It's the most masculine of all colors. I mean, you didn't take the shotgun again. <laughs> a shotgun is the most immasculine of all weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't really wear light colors at all. I mean, both those colors are pretty light, so I, I don't think I'd generally wear either one. But I, I wear a lot of dark colors, but uh, occasionally I wear. I have a, a, a PlayStation jacket that looks it's in this color. No. And it has the PlayStation 1 symbol on the front. And then I have a teal shirt that's the other color that I really like. Mm. Okay, so whatever we're doing, it's up there. Okay. Let's go for it. And there's a lot of hiding places. And we're doing pretty good this time. Yeah, I still want to find that grape knife. In fact, we should probably... Yeah, that's a good uh, idea. Yeah, just kind of save it. <laughs> yeah, I have to save so much. It. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to save right here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, who needs to be Just in case we, like, world, extra man. screwed up. Yeah. So, you know, you're in this field of, like, blue flowers or whatever. But you don't have, like, blue hair. So I just don't get it. Because Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn taught me that you can only hide in grass if it's the same color as your hair. Yeah. His, his underwear blue. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to see that. They're right there. Did you just stick your face in his, <laughs> yeah. in his groin? And he was like, oh. Uh, well, what okay. is happening? <laughs> I flicked the coin like right in front of me. Why did the ghosts of Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake show? <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? What? They still saw that? I mean, you did do it like a couple inches to the left. Like he has a mean lip. <laughs> Fools. Jeez. You didn't do a good job of taking down either one of them. What do you mean? Now there's people everywhere. They all know. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I just definitely made a huge alarm. And this is why we say. Yeah, well, I think the advantage, you should get them around the, you should have dropped the coin on the other side of the van so that you could take them out. Uh, not in direct view of the two people that were like... That would have been a good idea, yes. Yeah. But who's the doctor here? I don't know. Nobody, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't, know. I, I don't know. Not me, that's for sure. Are you sure they're up for uh, I'll show you what. Okay, so I can actually walk past these two, but it's that guy over there who's yeah. the problem. Yeah, your weird sneaking around was weird to only... <laughs> <laughs> only well, one guy. Okay. You might just hop this fence. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Take him out. There's no one watching. Ah, oh, well, we're good. Man, there's a lot of enforcers around here. There is a lot. I really want to find that grape knife. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary. <laughs> don't resist. There we go. Change to his outfit. What is he wearing? I can't. We're wearing the same thing. Oh, well then drag him into that. Drag him into the, yeah, the locker. What if for once there was already a guy in here? Oh, you are wearing the same thing. I don't, I don't know why I thought he was wearing something different. Yeah, no, just the cover shirt. That's all that's different. Ah. Everyone's stylish here. Oh, there's the ghost of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Just got to give him a couple honks to satiate him. <laughs> <laughs> so That's all he wants. Give him it's a couple not, honks. Just... Come on, stop being so, uh, stop being so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a couple honks. Just give him a couple honks. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> and we didn't give him context anymore. I, started, I cut out the first part. <laughs> they don't even know the what's happening. The context doesn't help. So who are these guys? Oh, this is the... Rich scratch their asses too when they think nobody's watching. <laughs> Don't be crude. Pay attention. Yates wants us on high alert. We've been oh. We've this for months. Ever since the 1% point oh boy. began. Nothing's gonna happen. I know. Huh. But when you start thinking like that, that's when it does. Who are we on the lookout for anyway? say. Stand by for picture ID and kill order. Fine. I'll just practice. Don Yates says the snipers on high alert. They await a picture ID and kill order from the guards on the ground. Yates himself is clearly off limits, but Tamara Vidal is a different matter. Wow, how do I do oh, that? Oh, you can. S I thought you just killed them and take the sniper rifle and shoot her yourself. Oh, no. Steal a spotter's earpiece. Well. Okay, who are the spotters? Does he have a ERP? Probably not. It's that guy. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> he better well, hope I don't find a brick nearby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I hope they don't ask for payment. I might have to give them a couple honks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you accept honks? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. As a matter of fact, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Lee. Man, of course they're both enforcers. I think they saw you. I feel like no. they would have noticed that their soda can just disappeared. <laughs> Dr. Pop. Pep or Pop? Dr. Pop with two Ps. Okay, so you could just go with the old. 
Wow, that worked. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Who? It doesn't matter. Just take the take the earpiece and run. It's right there. Go! Oh! Okay. You're good. Just get out of here. I feel like something didn't work here. I think we need to scan the person you want to kill. Well, I mean, he's this is supposed to demo off how it works, but it's not. Oh, I see, but he's not shooting. He's not shooting. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, try R1 or something? A, a shoot, shoot the shoot button. Nope, nothing. All right, I'm looking it up. One second, one second. I'm going to reload this because I don't think something happened correctly. Yep. Okay, what if... Yes, yeah, so let's press triangle. Feed your item, come back in here. Hold on. I have no idea. Let me throw a coin over there. Okay. And a coin over there. Mm. <sighs> Sounds delicious. Okay. Falcon, I have a target request. Standing by for visual ID. Use your camera. Over. Okay. So equip the camera. Oh, it says equip the camera. I've done that. Yeah, use the camera. Scan the practice target. Falcon. I'm sending a visual ID of the target. Over. Copy that. Standing by for the Press goal. triangle now. Yeah. Triangle. It didn't do that last oh, time. Okay. Take the shot. Over. Yeah, I didn't do that last time at all. Target is down. So maybe it was just a glitch last time. Yeah. Okay, so now what we have to do is get the get them to go out into the garden so that the snipers can see them. And then take the shot. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh huh. I don't know how we're supposed to do that. Oh, uh, scan Tamara Fidel. So all I have to do is scan her. Yeah. And they'll just be able to get her from wherever. No, she has to be. Same. Um. So if I just scan her any time, whenever she eventually goes into the garden, they'll just shoot her. Uh, says yeah. She's one. Yeah, go find. Yeah, yes. So, yeah, uh, then you have to talk to her to let her know to move to the gardens. I'm really sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not okay, to... okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All calm, right, I'm cool. Down, I'm cool. Down. I'll just, uh, just kill your whole family. There's a lot of uh, enforcers here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you have to go scan her first, and then, and then once you scan her, you have to talk to her and then tell her to go to the gardens. Just gonna, just gonna pass all this. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Uh, we really could use a... Rape knife. <laughs> uh, what was that? I think the G was silent in the beginning. <laughs> sure was. Uh, I don't. I, there's got to be. I feel like I'm gonna look it up here in a bit. Like I just like, where do I get one? Please. <laughs> it's all I could think about every day. That's enough Hitman Three for today. If you liked the video, like it. If you commented, comment down below. And if you really want to see more of us, sub and hit the bell. If you really, really want to be addicted to that zoinky zoinky goodness. That's enough Hitman Three. We'll see you next time. Zoink out. Zoink out.